This question to ask you to find the specific heat capacity of vegetable oil. And normally in classrooms you do it with metal, but if you keep your wits about you and you make sure you're mentioning the equipment, then you should be able to get our six marks out of six for this method. So let's talk about what each thing's for. Now thermometers, easy, that's to measure temperature. Top pan balance, we... so let's talk about what each thing's for. Now thermometers, easy, that's to measure temperature. Top pan balance, we use that to measure mass. Um, we've got a beaker, which we're going to talk about in a second, what we're going to put in there. Uh, we've got a heater and a joule meter. Now, as you might be able to guess, a joule meter measures energy. So we need to keep talking about those three things regularly, and we should be doing fine. Now, to help us out with this question, we've also got an equation on our equation sheet that's got specific capacity in it. So I'm going to write it down at the start. Um, it says energy equals mass times by specific heat capacity. So that's this thing here, times by temperature change, which we use this funny symbol for, um, but it just means change in temperature. So let's start writing our method. We can use bullet points to make our lives easier. Now you do get marks here for talking about how you set this all up, because it doesn't mention that, it just gives you the equipment. So first things first, we're gonna pour the oil into the beaker. So pour the oil into the beaker. And the easiest thing to do first is to measure um, the mass. And we're gonna using uh, the top pan balance. Okay, now you don't necessarily have to mention this next bit if you don't want to, um, but to measure the top pan balance, obviously you're then gonna measure the mass of the beaker as well, even though it's filled up with oil. Um, so you could say something like subtract um, you know, the mass of the beaker so that you've just got the mass of the oil. Okay, then we're gonna place the beaker, once you've measured the mass uh, beaker um, on the heater, and we're gonna um, use the thermometer to measure uh, temperature. Okay, next we're gonna do, what we're gonna do um, is turn the heater on. Um, so we start the heating basically, turn the heater on. Um, I forgot to mention that. So next we're gonna turn the heater on um, and then we're gonna leave um, for, I'm gonna say a certain amount of time, doesn't really matter, I'm gonna say 10 um, minutes. Okay, 10 minutes time. Now, after that time, um, you're then going to find um, measure the new temperature uh, using thermometer, and you're also going to measure how much energy has passed through the electric heater. So, what we're then going to do um, is to subtract, uh, so find the change in temperature, um, which equals the final uh, minus the initial readings, and then uh, find the specific heat capacity um, so rearranging the equation for specific heat capacity, I need to get mass and temperature onto the other side, so I've got to divide them. So energy divided by mass times by temperature change. That's all you need to do for that question. You've mentioned every piece of equipment, you've mentioned the equation, job done.